Hey guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's After Effects tutorial video, we are going to see that how can we create a vintage logo reveal animation in Adobe After Effects. So first of all, let us preview that what we are going to create. So this is the logo reveal animation that we are going to create today. So let's see that how can we create it. First of all, you have to create a new composition for it. So in order to do that, you can simply press Ctrl N on your keyboard and you will get this menu. Now name it anything that you want. I'm just simply naming it as Vintage. Now keep a frame rate of 30 frames per second. And the duration you can set to a comfortable 10 seconds and then press OK. Now I have already imported some of the images and uh, the files that I will be needing for this composition or animation. So uh, basically this is a page image. So after that I have also got this mp4 uh, file which is just of an ink blot and uh, uh, so I have also created one logo. So if you want you can use your own logo or um, Any text that you want to be revealed in that manner. Okay, so first of all what we are going to do is just uh, I have got this paper uh, image onto my composition and this will be our background So first of all, we are going to lock it then what we are going to do is uh, grab onto this text tool and um, change your uh, font to a chiller then here you can just type in any text that you want so i'm just uh, typing welcome to grab onto the text tool once again and click anywhere else to add a new text layer now here i'm going to type vintage logo animation now uh, this is the text that i have got now press R to bring up the rotation for your text layer and set its rotation value to a 180 degrees just like this and place it around here. We are going to just bring this uh, pre-composition uh, onto our original composition. So this is this uh, pre-comp that we have got. And now what we're going to do is just drag it around here. So this would be the actual logo on which this vintage animation is going to happen. So before that, what we're going to do, we are going to animate the positions of this uh, animation. So around three seconds is when this logo is uh, going to start revealing itself. Then what we're going to do is um, just drag this ink blot video into our composition. Now select this ink blot video and this logo composition together and pre-compose them again. Now name it as um, blot. Hit enter. Now open this blot pre-comp. Now I'm going to just uh, close all of these pre-comps because uh, it's actually of no use as of now. Now once in, uh, you are in your blot comp. Uh, make sure to just drag your uh, blot layer just uh, behind the logo and make sure to start it at around 3 seconds like this. So if you can just uh, play it, it is looking like this which is uh, very big in size. So what we're going to do is just adjust its dimensions. So bring up the scale factor for this blot layer and change its scale value as per your choice. Now, once you're happy with it, uh, what you're going to do is just bring your logo layer just below your uh, blot uh, video layer. And now what we're going to do is just change its track mat. Uh, you got to change the track mat of your logo layer to a uh, Luma inverted mat. So yes, this looks pretty good to me and uh, now basically everything is done. The only thing that is remaining is a little bit of camera work. 
so what we are going to do for that is just select all of our layers and pre-compose them together uh, just give it any other name like final then uh, add a new camera layer keeping on the default settings press ok ok so that is the issue that we have got and before adding a camera layer what you have to do is just make sure that your comp layer is changed to a 3d because camera only works on a 3d layer and now we have to just play with the values of the point of interest and position in this camera layer uh, but before that what we are going to do is go to this unified camera tool and make sure that this xy uh, head is in front of you so just manipulate this values a little bit you can also press c to bring up uh, the desired tool that you want basically what we are going to do is uh, just make our focus on a single word like first of all we are going to focus on welcome to and then we are going to focus on our next text layer and then we are going to change the focus uh, to our logo so this is the first point where our animation is going to start so here what we are going to do is just keyframe the values of point of interest and position like this now you can just uh, go back to the camera layer and press u so that only these keyframes are visible and then we are going to move forward by around one second in time uh, or 150 Okay, so now we have moved uh, to around 45 frames in our time. Then again keyframe the values of the point of interest and position. Then move forward by around uh, 2 to 3 keyframes. Then what we are going to do is just change this value to here. Here you again gotta just change this um, values a little bit so that your vintage logo animation text is visible completely but here since uh, we have uh, taken into account the fact that um, this text is rotated by a uh, 180 degrees so for that what we're going to do is just press r to bring up the rotation values and change the uh, value of Z rotation to a 180 degrees and keyframe it now again press U to bring up the keyframes go back to the previous keyframe and uh, over here you gotta change the value of Z rotation to a 0 degrees so the transition that is being formed is like this now since this is a very uh, subtle transition so what we're going to do is just increase the distance between these keyframes so that it uh, is shown to the viewer that what is actually happening all right uh, and apart from that what we're going to do is just turn on this motion blur and apply it like here from here so if you can just preview our animation now okay so you must have noticed this orange bar to get rid of it you can just change your resolution to auto or if you want you can just change it to a third or a quarter for a smooth rendering so this is what we have got then again press u to bring up the keyframes move to around um, here which is around 83 frames in time you can just see the frames from here and um, just keyframe the values like this now move forward to around three seconds that is at 90 frames here we have to move our point of interest uh, to the place where this logo was supposed to be revealed this is the perfect dimensions for my logo as i think but again it's totally up to you it's totally your choice you have to move the values as a per your wish or as you like so if we can just continue with our animation then it ends over here at around six and some seconds so just press n to cut it down one more uh, thing that uh, you could have witnessed is this black line is showing over here 
which is not looking good so what we're going to do for that is just grab onto our picture uh, paper picture and place it at the uh, bottom once again so if we just preview it again so this is what we have got and i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial if you do please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge for more such tutorials till then goodbye